Hello, today we're reading this book, The Seeds of the Milkweed. This is a very interesting book for several reasons. One reason is that the authors of this book are a second grade class from Little Rock, Arkansas in the United States of America. This book is written and illustrated by the second grade students of East End Elementary in Little Rock, Arkansas. And the students, when they illustrated this book, they used collage or torn paper and paint to illustrate this book. So that's a really neat way to illustrate or make pictures for a book. Also, this book is fun because it tells the life cycle of a milkweed plant. And it tells about one very fun insect who likes to eat the milkweed plant. These are milkweed seeds. They often blow through the air to land and grow in new spots. This book has a lot of text on the pages, so I'm going to read just part of the text the first time, and then I'll read it through a second time with all of the text in case you're interested to hear it all. So I hope that you'll listen to this book and enjoy learning about the seeds of the milkweed as told and illustrated by second graders. The Seeds of the Milkweed by Mrs. Hicks, second grade class, East End Elementary, Little Rock, Arkansas. These are the seeds of the milkweed. This is the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed, so they will be fed. This is the watering can, orange and mellow, used to water the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed, so they will be fed. This is the sun, round and yellow, And the watering can, orange and mellow, used to water the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed, so they will be fed. This is a sprout, green and small. This is the sky vast and tall. These are the brightly colored purple blooms. This is the adult monarch dressed in black, white, and orange costume. But we know it's not really a costume. That is really the colors of a real monarch butterfly, but it does look like a costume because it's so bright and beautiful. These are the miniature white eggs laid under the leaves. Is there's the miniature white eggs. This is the munch munching caterpillar that eats as it pleases. This is the chubby larva hanging upside down. This is an extraordinary pupa decorated with a golden crown. This is the adult metamorphosis complete. You can see that that butterfly has come out of its cocoon, out of its chrysalis. Now it's a full adult butterfly. This is the milkweed with flowers so sweet. Because a milkweed plant and a milkweed flowers are what adult monarch butterflies eat. And that's why they lay their eggs on them. So when they hatch out, they will have something to eat right away. And here are the authors of this book the second graders in Miss Hicks's class. So
So if you want to hear more about monarch butterflies and milkweed plants and you want to see their the real thing, you can look on my channel for uh, the caterpillar to butterfly videos. There's a playlist showing their complete metamorphosis. And I'm going to read this book one more time, The Seeds of the Milkweed, and I'm going to read all of the text this time, uh, how it repeats what's happened before it, so you can hear the beautiful rhythm and rhyme that these second graders use to tell the story. These are the seeds of the milkweed. This is the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where he, we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the watering can, orange and mellow, used to water the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the sun, round and yellow, and the watering can, orange and mellow, used to water the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the sprout, green and small, warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow, growing in the soil with a flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the sky, vast and tall. providing room for the sprout, green and small. Warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow, growing in the soil in a flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. These are the brightly colored purple blooms, reaching to the blue sky, vast and tall providing room for the sprout, green and small, warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow, growing in the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the adult monarch, dressed in black, white, and orange costume. Attracted to the brightly colored purple blooms, reaching to the sky, the blue sky, vast and tall, warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow, growing in the soil in a flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. These are the miniature white eggs laid under the leaves by the adult monarch dressed in black, white, and orange costume, attracted by the brightly colored blooms Reaching to the blue sky, vast and tall, providing room for the sprout, green and small. Warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow. Growing in the soil in a flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the munch-munching caterpillar that eats as it pleases. Hatched from a miniature white egg laid under the leaveses by the adult monarch dressed in black, white, and orange costume, attracted to the brightly colored purple blooms reaching to the blue sky vast and tall, providing room for the sprout green and small, warmed by the sun round and yellow, drinking from the watering can orange and mellow, growing in the soil in the flower pot shiny and red where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the chubby larva hanging upside down, who started as a munch-munching caterpillar that eats as it pleases, hatched from a miniature white egg laid under the leaveses by the adult monarch dressed in black, white, and orange costume, attracted to the brightly colored purple blooms, reaching to the blue sky vast and tall, providing room for the sprout green and small, warmed by the sun round and yellow, Drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow, growing in the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is an extraordinary pupa, decorated with a golden crown. 
developed from a chubby larva hanging upside down, who started as a munch-munching caterpillar that eats as it pleases, hatched from a miniature white egg laid under the leaves, is, by an adult monarch dressed in black-white-orange costume, attracted to the brightly colored purple blooms, reaching to the blue sky vast and tall, providing room for the sprout green and small. Warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can, orange and mellow, growing in the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so they will be fed. This is the adult metamorphosis complete. Emerging from the extraordinary pupa, decorated with a golden crown, developed from a chubby larva, hanging upside down, who started as a munch-munching caterpillar that eats as it pleases, hatched from a miniature white egg laid under the leaveses. By the adult monarch dressed in black, white, and orange costume, attracted to the brightly colored purple blooms, reaching to the blue sky vast and tall, providing room for the sprout green and small, warmed by the sun, round and yellow, drinking from the watering can orange and mellow, Growing in the soil in the flower pot, shiny and red, where we planted the seeds of the milkweed so that they will be fed. This is the milkweed with flowers so sweet. And if you'd like to read the entire poem, there it is. And I hope that you'll notice all the rhyming words in this story. And I hope that your teacher will help you to pick out all the adjectives in this story. This is a great story for picking out adjectives and rhyming words. And I hope that you've enjoyed reading this story by the second graders in Arkansas, The Seeds of the Milkweed.